Greetings all. Trust you all are keeping well in the faith. The word is fruition, is defined as to bring fulfillment. Did you know that our highest calling is to grow in our knowledge of our Lord and to share it with others? Um, in Psalms 138, we learn a Psalm of David. It reads, the Lord will perform his work towards me, O Lord. Thy mercy endure forever. Forsake not the works of thine hands. Got a question for you. Does your desire to know him exceed other aspirations? Hmm, good question, huh? Well, I want you to think about and take heart. Now let's get back to the Bible. Remember the Exodus when millions left Egypt? Well, did you know that there were only two of the original adults that made it to the promised land? Now, how did those two finish well? What well, we know sin hinders and a lack of obedience thwarts. Compliance aided those two adults leaving Egypt. Um, have you noticed that too many today, in today's times, many of us want the word of God to conform or comply to our desires? Yep, in this perverse society. But take note that the word is the final authority and abideth forever. It's the total opposite. We have to comply with the word. So let's just not forget who reigns and who rules. It's his word. So when he is not on the throne of our hearts, we would never receive his fulfilled promises. So remember during the age of testimony back in the day when folks would get up and say, oh, the Lord is the head of my life. Well, that should be your stance in the faith daily in every area. Moving right along. So how do we finish? Well, one acronym to consider is fat. Hmm, stuff we love to eat but hate to carry. Fat, but it's faithful, available, and teachable. You have a talent that awaits fruition, but only God the Father can manifest such. Know who you are, who you belong to, and where does your allegiance lie? We are fat in love. Um, let's go to Holy Scriptures. Uh, let's see. Matthew 5, 16 through 18. This is a good one. So read the whole chapter. It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glory by your father, which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I come, I'm not come to destroy them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say unto you, till heaven and earth perish, one jot or one tittle of the law shall not escape, till all things are be fulfilled. Let's run on to Second Thessalonians 1.11. Wherefore, we also pray always for you, that our God may make you worthy of this calling, and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness, and the work of faith with power. Now in this chapter, Apostle Paul was writing towards the patience of the Thessalonians. And finally, we'll end with Hebrews 12, 2. It says, looking to Jesus, our Lord and Savior, our Rose of Sharon, our Lily of the Valley, our Redeemer, our hope, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. The author and finisher of our faith, who is, I'm sorry, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame and is set at the right hand of the throne of God. So the word is fruition. I want you guys to continue to be encouraged in the faith. Be encouraged daily and I'll chat with you soon. Laters.